And I'm Christina Gasford, and as you saw, Kat is here, but she's at the Champlain Valley Fair, where we have live team coverage. And we start with Kat enjoying day four of the best 10 days of summer. Absolutely, and honestly, who could ask for better 10 days of summer than here at the Champlain Valley Fair, especially when there's just something for everybody. Kids, of course, are the big focus today. Kids are getting it for just $4 for Kids Day, how appropriate. And kids love... Oh, pretty much anything, but we really saw them having a ton of fun at the balloon show earlier today. And so right now we're getting joined in just a moment by John Cassidy. Let me tell you a little bit about him. He's a balloon artist. He's a magician. He does shows where you can honestly see him do get inside a balloon. We saw that earlier today, which was pretty cool. And he also has set several records. I believe he holds the records for the most balloon sculptures done in a minute than the most balloon sculptures done in an hour and is joining me right now. Oh, wow, what are you making, John? I'm just making a cow. You're making a cow? I'm making a cow right now. It may not be ready in time. I made a hat for you with you a three. You made a hat for me? Oh, my God, is that a Channel 3 3? Yes. <gasps> there you go. Thank you. Look at that. I have a Channel 3 hat on. It has a three on it. How Welcome long did it take you to make this, John? Uh, about two minutes when I was back there, just when you got here. <laughs> We like surprised him here. We were like, yeah. hey, do you want to like do something like this on the Channel 3 News yeah. at 5? So tell me, how long have you been doing this, John? I've been doing this longer than you've been alive. 1972, oh. I started. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, I know. I should have. A, I should be better at it than I am. Yeah, so but, tell me what drew you to it. Well, like, what makes you go, hey, let me just want to make balloons and do magic? You know, it wasn't a conscious decision. I didn't say, hey, you know what? I'm going to be a balloon guy. No, that no, was you nothing. Didn't. No, you did no, I, I did this to pay for college to get through school and then in spite of school. Okay. Yeah, so my, my family's still hoping it's a phase. <laughs> it's not a phase. And so tell me a little bit. Yeah. When you're doing your shows, what yeah. sort of things do you gravitate towards? What do you try to get from your audience? Uh, laughter? <laughs> that's what I'm trying. I'm, I, I'll be honest with you, we're not, that's what we're going for. Yeah. You know, your current show coming up at 5.30. What sorts of things can people expect to see within the show? Uh, I get inside of a balloon. I, ha I throw hammers at children's faces. I, oh, no! um, I do. What else do I do? I do inappropriate things in many ways, yes. Okay. Yes. And when you're doing those things, um, yes. kids, do they typically, like, respond? or Because like, we know kids can be tough audiences. Yeah, they're easier than adults, so they're not as jaded. They haven't had their dreams crushed <laughs> as easily, so they're they're actually a little bit better on. And what drew you to Vermont? Because I know the Champlain Valley Fair is new for you this year. What was that? I knew the Champlain Valley Fair is new for you. Yes, this year. yes, it is new to me. And so, what drew you here? What made you want to come? <laughs> my here? wife, my wife, she booked the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I don't I don't really think about things too much. No. And what um, have you like seen about this audience here at the fair that might be different than some other audience? They're friendly. Yeah. I'm from Philadelphia. They're not friendly. They're <laughs> not friendly in yeah. Philadelphia, Philadelphia like we are in Vermont, you say? Yeah, much more accessible. Okay. You know, it's taken me a couple days to realize that when people say hello, it's not an act of aggression. Okay. So, so you're building me a cow, a cow sculpture here. I'm uh, trying to right now. It should be ready in a oh, less oh. than like two, couple two seconds. Two seconds? No, not two seconds. I, I, yeah. See, then I'm underestimating things. I need On a cow On the average, face. how many times does a balloon sculpture pop <clears throat> while you're making it? All the time. All the time? Most of the time. Yeah. A lot of times. You gotta, I'm, I'm always surprised when they don't break. Yeah? Yeah. But, uh, um, how do you then improvise when something, when you're in the middle of a show, you're live, yeah. obviously, it's kind of like live TV, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. What do you do? Uh, you just keep going and try not to, it's like life, you just <gasps> keep going and try not to pretend. Look at that! Wait, 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 oh, wait, you need this We're too. almost done here. Almost important part. The important, oh, yeah. oh, you're going to add, oh, yes, you're going to add an udder to it. You need the udder. But of course. Of course, there you go, you get the cat. It's one of my favorite ones for the fair right there. Perfect, oh, look at this! Just a couple of minutes, we have a beautiful cow. 5.30, you've got a show coming up, John sure. Cassidy. Do tricks for you anytime you want. I'm yeah. here. F please come by the show. We're doing three shows. Uh, 11, uh, 1, and 5. No, uh, 11, 3, and 5. You know my show. I do know your 11, shows. It's almost like I did my and homework. 5.30. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> What's it like to be competent? Okay, Oh, my God. <laughs> Sometimes so. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. I'm sorry for the awkwardness. Oh, and gosh. And not at all. We just kind of surprised you, and you okay. made a cow for us. I love it. John, well, thank you thank so you much. We'll let you get ready for your show here. Thank you. I appreciate it. And again, he's got one coming up at 5.30 here. We'll send it back to you guys.